Um, my name is Ryan Peterson. In June of last year, 2014, um, I decided to become sober off of crystal meth and I was accepted into the house. I told them that I was a crystal meth addict and they asked me to be sober for seven days. I originally found out I was HIV positive in 2011 and I hadn't had that taken care of. So when I got into the house, immediately, all medical, I went to Capin to get tested for everything. They set me up with positive impact so I could get on Ryan White, get medicine, start getting started. I got a sponsor and I attended weekly CMA meetings. Um, I joined a intensive outpatient rehab that was four days a week, five hours a day. I was in here for probably about 40 hours a week just volunteering. So they offered me a job here and um, I was going to an intensive outpatient rehab at Positive Impact and they helped me get a housing through the living room program. Other shelters, they have beds in one big room. The house is actually a house. It's got two bedrooms, no, three bedrooms, two beds. We've got a kitchen, we've got a dog, we have an on-site house mom that's there to help you. And it feels more like a family than it does you're just a number. We have our youth center here at the thrift store and I go over to the house sometimes. I'll cook dinner for the youth. I love our youth and I love the fact that I've been through the program and I can be there to say, hey, you know what? I've been there, I've done that. You know what? It does get better. I did an interview with Al Jazeera and the next day on Facebook I had a 15 year old boy from North Georgia contact me and tell me that his father and grandfather called him an abomination and that he wished he would die. And I literally broke down in tears. I, I, I could not imagine being told that or feeling that and I talked to him for about two hours and it was hard to get him to understand that he's perfect the way he is. I love coming in here and just getting to be myself. Lost and Found is something that I never thought could exist. And I just want people to know that we, even in the South, can make an amazing thing happen.